Back with Bobby and JG Radio, we have an awesome guest today. We're talking all about puppies and dogs, mm-hmm. and our first guest is Stacy Freeman. She's a big city girl from Floresville, <laughs> and uh, she works with Snipsa, S-N-I-P-S-A, um, and they've been around since 2008. But you walked into Snipsa to adopt a dog, and then you ended up leaving with a dog and a, and a job. And a job, yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I know, yeah. Were I was you looking for excited. a job? I was. I actually had applied for Snipsa two years ago mm-hmm. when I just got out of college, mm-hmm. and um, they weren't hiring at the time. And I had gotten another dog, and then I wanted a friend for him, so I went in there to adopt one. And um, I walked in, and I was like, are you all hiring too? And they're like, it was the girl's last yeah. day. So she, and it was like at six o'clock too when I went to pick him up and she was walking out and they're like, actually, yeah, this was her last day today. So I was super excited. That's kind of scary. I would want to find out why she's leaving. I didn't care. I just wanted to be around the <laughs> So what does SNPSA stand for? And tell us about the company. Um, SNPSA stands for Spay, Neuter, Inject, Protect San Antonio, mm-hmm. um, which is always what we... Like everything you guys do. Yeah, much. yeah, exactly. Um, that's like our main goal is to spay and neuter all the... The pets and um, the strays here in San Antonio, because it's a huge problem in our area. So I know you guys started in 2008. What? Why? Why did you guys start the company? It actually began because of an article um, in 2006 in the San Antonio Express News. I think it was, I think it was called "Death by the Pound," and mm-hmm. it was talking about how um, bad San Antonio is with the um, our kill shelters. Sure. We there were. I mean. I mean, how do we fare compared to other major cities? You know, I mean, I, are we pretty bad? Or yeah, we we're get, pretty bad. We got better. No. Okay. Yeah, we've we've gotten better. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, we we were pretty bad, which is what um, my director um, Shannon Esby and then uh, other board four or five other board members got together because they're she's a vet and her right. husband's a vet and um, you know other animal activists got together and wanted to form this um, mainly for spaying and neutering. Sure. And we do also adoption as well. Cool. Mm-hmm. And so. Um, where do you, how is it funded? How how is this? We're a nonprofit, so okay. it's strictly by donations so, or grants. So you grants. need the donations in order to keep, yes, to we keep would the love doors open. yes, love okay. donations. And so, how can people, you know, is people donating through events or fundraisers or just yeah, um, mm-hmm, uh, you can donate money wise through our website, okay, um, on snipsa dot org, or um, you can come by our place and come donate there. We sure. also have. Um, uh, little donation boxes at our adoption events that we have. Normally, we have them every other weekend at like either Whole Earth or a Petco or something like that. Sure. And where do you get your adoptable pets from? We pull them from kill shelters because mm-hmm. that's what you know started everything. Um, so we kill pull them. Kill shelters just sounds so. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. yeah, it's super yeah. Let's call it something else. No, it's a kill. That's <laughs> what they are. They're kill shelters, um, like yeah. uh, animal control mm-hmm. or other surrounding areas okay. that are that. So uh, they find them, I guess they're loose, right? And mm-hmm. uh, the dog pound picks them up, brings them here. Yeah. You take all their pets, some of their pets? We take as many as we can. Okay. We're not a shelter. Mm-hmm. Um, we only have an office. We don't have a shelter at all. So all of our adoptions um, are the dogs that we pull out of kill shelters. Mm-hmm. They have to go to a foster care immediately. Wow. So yeah, all, yeah. So all of our dogs go um, straight into foster care. So we normally nowadays have between 60 to 80 mm-hmm. dogs and cats. Um, and it's pretty much 50-50 on how many dogs and cats we have. Um, so. And then how can someone go and adopt from y'all? Uh, for adopting, there's uh, a few ways. We, like I said, we aren't a shelter, so people can't just come by our office and be like, I want to see a dog. Um, we do everything online. Mm-hmm. So we post the pictures of the dog. We write like a little bio on them and uh, people just go to snipsa.org, mm-hmm. fill out an application. We get the application. We check it to make sure, you know, that they're going to be a good dog or cat owner. Um, then we contact them and we set up a meet and greet with the foster parent mm-hmm. and because the foster really knows the most about this dog. Mm-hmm. And um, they meet up and they get to meet the dog or the cat and see how they do together and um, go from there. So on average, how long would you say an animal or a pet cat or dog stays in your facility before somebody adopts it? We have a pretty good turnaround, um, especially for our puppies. Mm-hmm. Our puppies go pretty fast. So um, people like puppies more than cats? 
No, that's not it's, true. <laughs> no. I'm allergic to cats. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> so am I. Um, <laughs> no, but um, puppies go just because you know. They're puppies. Yeah, yeah, they're puppies, and they they they're still trainable. I mean, not saying that dogs aren't trainable, um, but they're just easier easier to go. Let's talk about this event, the Big Fix. Mm-hmm. How, many, how many times a year do you guys do this thing? We have them about four to five times. We actually just had one this past Saturday, which is. Huh? Was it at an HEB or were No, you oh. no, no, it's huge. Oh. Um, we had it at St. Mary's <laughs> University. Oh, it was that big? Okay. Yeah. Um, like, I'm still exhausted from it because I worked from 5 a.m. till 3 a.m. that wow. day. Um, yeah, so we spay and neuter um, and then, you know, fully vaccinate um, all the dogs and cats in surrounding um, or qualifying zip code areas sure. or qualifying areas, sorry, mm-hmm. um, for free. Wow. So we do all of that like this past saturday we did 361 dogs and cats in a day wow yeah so just like an assembly line of just animals going through there and getting fixed pretty much it's like a mash like it's like seriously a mash style like we have Mm -hmm. 20 tables of of the dogs just getting you know doing their spay and neutering like Mm -hmm. with the vets lined up wow doing it all then we have a recovery area and you know everything's with volunteers there's um now there's two at the moment there's two full-time staff members sure we have um three part-time and the rest is all volunteers and so you're having another event like this july 9th no that's a different event yes tell me about it um july 9th is um actually with positively sweet bakery oh, yeah um it's with the premiere of the secret life of pets i don't know have you seen the preview for that movie mm-hmm. it looks so good yeah like i'm excited to see it um but anyway yeah, it's with uh, Positively Bakery, and they choose um, an animal rescue organization to focus on and, you know, have the proceeds go towards. So um, you can go to pawsweetbakery.com sure. to purchase tickets, and then the ticket, ticket purchasing goes towards the snips of dogs and cats for, you know, getting them more crates or food and whatever they need yeah all that good stuff so to get involved with this great organization you can call them at 210-237-9400 again that's 237-9400 or go to the website which is snipsa.org